What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. In today's video we're going to be looking ahead at the Wales game away on Sunday in the Nations League of course. Um, joined again by Socko and Liam. First thing you notice, no Ireland jerseys today. Bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more, bit not, not the best atmosphere. It's somber. The moment. Yeah, um, obviously disappointing. Let's we'll touch on the England game first. Uh, disappointing result, performance. A lot of factors, obviously, beyond Kenny's control that aren't going our way at the moment. And um, and yeah, just, just want to touch on what you saw at the game. Yeah, well, the kind of build-up pre-match, um, McCarthy pulled out due to family reasons. Uh, we're not sure if he's available Sunday yet. Uh, and then when Kenny named the team, Coleman wasn't starting or on the bench. And then it turns out he picked up a knock um, uh, yesterday or the day before. So it was Randolph in goal, uh, Cyrus right back, Duffy Egan in the middle, and Matt Doherty on the left. Um unfamiliar role for Doherty but he was probably our best player last night mm. um, it was kind of a 4-3-3 but half the time Harrahan and Hendrick kind of sat deep and Brown just ahead of them uh, in the cam role um, yeah. Horgan on the right O'Dowd on the left and Ida up top um, so yeah by far not our strongest team given all the absentees uh- and then also a side note is that John Egan went off after 10, 15 minutes as well. So obviously not ideal either. Um, yeah, Darashe came on for him, did very well. Like didn't put a foot wrong um, yeah. the whole game. I think it was only his yeah. second cap. Yeah, he's, no, he's, a, he's a top player to be fair to him. Uh, but you look at the England team compared to ours and it's a championship team against a Premier League team more or less. Um, yeah, it's, it's 3-0. Like, was that, do you think it's a deserved scoreline for how the game went? Well, no, he's kind of started the first 15 minutes. We were bright enough. Yeah. First 15 minutes uh, started very well. Um, I it was the first time in a long time I like got really excited about. It. I was like, oh fuck, we're 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 almost scoring against England. Uh, yeah. uh, Morgan put a su- two super balls across the face of goal. Uh, uh, Ida missed one, and O'Dowd probably had our best chance of the game. Um, just passed him by six yards out. Um, but after that first goal went in, Maguire beat Duffy to the header. I think 15 minutes, 20 minutes in. Um, kind of it's dropped from there. Um, yeah. But as you say, yeah, there's hundreds of millions of pounds between the two sides, the two 11s. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, started very well. But um, and Matt Doherty did say that like after the second goal went in, like he said, our heads seemed to drop. Um, yeah. So yeah, disappointing night, but probably probably expected. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Um, what did you think of it yourself, Liam? Um, I personally thought it was a bit mad to be playing England in a friendly before obviously their Nations League but because there's such, such a gulf in class realistically said their championship via premiership team their second string side just beat us 3-0 like you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, I would it would have been worried if they obviously played the likes of Sterling Kane Rashford like their main men mm-hmm. but um, there's a lot of um, positive stuff to obviously like uh, we, we're playing obviously better football but unfortunately, we just couldn't buy a goal at the moment. And what I found interesting was Matt Doherty's interview as well after the game. Pretty much said that like the chances were creating chances. We just simply whatever it is, the confidence isn't there, or whatever for the strikers. But then again, like we're playing Ida, who's still kind of getting to know his own game. Well, I think it would have been a difference if Conley and Robinson were available to play. Definitely kind of would have looked a bit more threatening, and it would probably would have caught. Maybe caught one, maybe I don't know. The counter attack, yeah. yeah. I think, like, I know you're speaking about it off camera. The whole like social media atmosphere towards Kenny and stuff is <clears> so <throat> toxic at the moment. I feel. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't want to spend much time talking about it because there's a chance, like, it's the balance between calling out people that are doing that, but like not giving them the the. The yeah, satisfaction of being yeah. talked about. Um, but yeah, th- after every game, there'll always be a lot of tweets and uh, people who, a lot of people who probably didn't even bother watching the game or the previous yeah. games, like even out about Kenny. Um, there, there was a few kind of last night, two things, like I don't know what people were, people who've given out saying that like we played crap or we lost 3-0 to England. I don't know what, what they were expecting. Like, um, yeah. 
you look at the facts, there's hundreds of millions of pounds between the two sides. Kevin Doyle and Kenny Cunningham before the match said that like, we probably won't get a result. We'll try our best. But the, 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 they're operating in, they're hoping to go win the Euros next yeah. year. They're hoping to win the World Cup in, in 2022. We're operating in a totally different world to them. Um, yeah. And Alan Cawley put up a good tweet yesterday and said, um, in 2012, England were starting to build St. George's Park, putting in, I think, 100 or £2 million pounds into it. And at the same time, we had John Blaney running the FEI, and not to like keep harping back, but um, when England were investing 100 or £2 million pounds into their setup, um, in our world, like John Blaney was kind of bleeding the FEI dry, giving out... Uh, boxes in the Aviva for, for free, uh, being paid 400 grand while the staff were in a pittance, um, not investing much money at all. Um, so not, not that it's deserved. I think pe- a lot of people given out. I just need to take a step back and look at a bit of, re- of a reality check. Yeah, and have to be realistic. Just be realistic and just, um, I don't know what, alternative if they're saying Kenny out like I don't know what alternative they have um no. I I for sure don't want to go back to like scraping one nil wins against Gibraltar or getting smashed by Germany 6-1 I think we're lucky to have a manager that's brave and ambitious to to try um a lot of people saying like we don't have the players that's no reason to not try and do something different and uh enhance a legacy of of 30 years of like just one dimensional football um mm. so yeah but i think we're gonna see this after like every poor result um so yeah. yeah yeah i think i think the stage where we could start judging results like i think you need second results in the world cup qualifiers but up, up until that point it's about implementing his philosophy and his style of play and then he needs that time to be able to do that and then i think it's probably fair during the world cup qualifiers if we're still not beating the likes of say bulgaria or finland I think then maybe you can look at them and say maybe there could be questions asked. But the way we're playing and we're creating chances, it can be frustrating after matches, not winning games. But the fact that we're creating chances and there are positive signs there and we're keeping the ball well, I think yeah, he deserves time. And it looks like it, it could come, it could come together really, really nicely when we have. I'm listening. I don't think he's had a full strength squad to pick from at all yet during his whole sure, campaign. Sure, That's sure, all sure, rain yeah. in charge. So yeah, so I think he definitely needs to have a. I think there probably will be a few more changes. I think Darrow Shea could come into the World Cup qualifiers as a starter. It looks a top class player. Um, Malumbi potentially as well. Then maybe Owefemi, Connolly. Those players will be a little bit older, a bit more mature, hopefully. So yeah, I think I think the definitely is signs that um, that things could could definitely be uh, in terms of results could be better by the World Cup qualifiers. But we will move on to the Wales game. I think it's probably best off to just move on to it now. Um, away in Cardiff we've obviously had a special night there before um, and then had a I think it was a 4-1 loss in the, we, the last Nations League when we played against them there so um, it's going to be a tough game of course um, how, how do you think that one's going to play out? Like obviously Wales are, don't have Ryan Giggs in charge now because of off the field stuff I'm not sure if Gareth Bale's I think Gareth Bale is available but I'm not, I don't think he played in the friendly there the other day but like Wales Wales are kind of I find Wales really similar to Ireland like Obviously, Gareth Bale is the huge difference in their squad. But if you look outside of that, they don't really have, they're not 100, like they're not that far off what mm. Ireland are on paper, really. Mm. Like they have Dan James, I wouldn't say he's great now. Ramsey, but maybe, you did everyone, but. They're all coming to the end of there, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like we, obviously, we have Hendrick and Ramsey's miles, miles ahead of him, <laughs> but. Uh, like I really think there's not much between Ireland and Wales if you ask me now. So I think I think we could get a result personally. A very important game, uh, Bulgaria after that too. But um, if we want to stay in pot two, we need a result from at, like at least one of them games. And I think even like two wins might not even be enough. But that that's a different conversation to stay in pot two for for the World Cup qualification. Um, who are we missing? On Sunday, um, McCarthy, Coleman, Stevens, Egan, Connolly, and Brown, um, Robinson too. Uh, uh, Brown testing positive for COVID. Uh, I think this morning. Um, so it's five, it's five it, six, five, six, seven starting players, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, um, uh, f- far from full, st- full strength side. Um, yeah, 
same as before, like just, just really need a result. It'd be it'd be really nice to see. Uh, I think St- Stephen Kenny's had really crap luck so far yeah. um, between injuries and COVID cases. Um, so yeah, it's up to the players who come in, and it was really nice, Kenny when he was asked about the players missing last night, he didn't wallow in it or didn't just moan or make excuses. He said, we have players off the bench or players called up. Um, uh, Sean McGuire called up as well to come in and make an impact. And I suppose it's up to them players to come in, make a name for themselves. Um, the likes of Malumbi, uh, O'Shea, uh, Ronald Curtis um, as well coming in. Um, mm. So it's a big night for all them types of players. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it, realistically, if you go to if you can go to Wales and pick up a win, that could be a serious uh, like change, like a serious shift in the fan base's opinions on Kenny, and it could be like the real turning point in his reign, kind of thing of where it kind of kick started. And um, just in terms of looking at a starting lineup, I presume it's back five would be Randolph, Christie, the same as last night, except obviously Daryl O'Shea coming in for Egan. Would you agree with that? Probably. So we've Christy, mm-hmm. Duffy, yeah. Dara O'Shea and Doherty. Mm-hmm. Um, Duffy didn't field. have a great game now. Yeah. He what, do, kind of brought his Celtic form with him, unfortunately. Yeah. Like he had, like, played really well against Slovakia, like, you know what I mean? So mm. then he obviously went back to his club and it's just, it's gone downhill since then, yeah, really. He lost that uh, header to Maguire and I thought Roy Keane was pretty harsh on, on, on Duffy, like losing the header to Maguire. We all know how dangerous Maguire is in the box um, mm. and maybe just mis- misread the run. Um, but the second goal, I think he put the ball out uh, kind of loosely for a corner that we ended up conceding from after that. Um, and yeah. Christie as well didn't didn't really have a great game. Um, lost his marker for the second goal and gave away the peno, obviously. Um, but there isn't really alternatives to them though, really. And the, like no, exactly, Kevin Long exactly. potentially is about it. And then for Duffy, but apart from like yeah, I don't think I think he'll stick by Duffy. Um, but really, Duffy's been a great servant to Ireland over the years, so you probably will just stand by him. I think he's the captain as well at the moment, isn't he? Captain too, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Draft, like. um, in terms of midfield, obviously, Alan Brown will drop out from the previous game. So I'd say Horahan and Hendrick probably keep their place. Um, coming I don't in think for... Hendrick was. I don't think Hendrick was too bad last night, um, mm. but I thought, I thought Horahan was poor and gave the ball away one, one set of every three passes he made. Um, mm. Gave the ball away, leading up to the third goal. Um, but uh, him and O'Dowd, I think, were pretty much missing for the whole game last night. Um, yeah. I thought you could see Malumbi come in for Brown potentially. Malumbi might I'd get say, a chance. Say, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, um, and then front three, we're looking at the likes of probably Ida. Would you think Ida will keep his place up front? Sean Maguire, James, James Collins. Collins possibly. I think so. I possibly, yeah. I'd say James Collins might get a run. Just as a target um, man, like you know what I mean. Yeah, Daryl Horgan. People said he didn't. He didn't do too bad of a count of himself against England, so he might keep his place potentially. They surprised um, me a lot and um, put two super balls in. Not not afraid to take on a man and run down the wings. Um, yeah. Especially with uh, the the pace of Saka last night on him. Um, yeah. Give him a good account of himself. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then on the left, I think Odeda probably won't start. Considering he was a bit anonymous there against England, McLean or Brady probably come in for him. Probably yeah, uh, who do who do you up for in that position? Clean. I go James. James, yeah. You, again, in Cardiff, you have to, wouldn't you? You'd have to like <laughs> have to do it. Uh, another side note is Jack Byrne coming uh, back into the squad. Of course, actually, yeah. Uh, probably today or today or tomorrow uh, in time for Sunday. Um, so, but I think we've said this before every game. Like, it'll be lovely to see him get a run out. Um, yeah, he's been in top top form for uh, Rovers. Um, so he's another option uh, other than Malumbi uh, to replace Brown, possibly. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I've actually kind of forgot about that. Um, that would he could even come in for Daryl Horgan on that right hand side, maybe as well. So, be interesting to see. But uh, I'd say he's more like more than likely probably come off the bench if he's to get a run out. Um. Mm-hmm. Scoreline predictions, that's... I'm going to go nil-nil. Unfortunately, I'm going to be boring and saying nil-nil. I just can't see how we're going to score, personally. Wouldn't be the like worst without, results, without in fairness. Conley, but... Without Conley and Robinson and Didzy obviously retiring, I can't see us buying a goal. So, mm. nil-nil. Soccer. Um, Jesus. Well, after my England prediction, I don't want to, say, I don't want to mention it. Um, oh, God. 1-1. Um, I think, obviously... 
Wales back line and much much less stronger than than uh, England's. Um, I I I played very well last night actually. Um, dropping in deep, kind of bringing the ball, uh, uh, kind of short passes in front in front of the box and trying to get shot shot off. Um, yeah, I think <laughs> they were fucking zero goal, so I was gonna say one one. <laughs> one one, yeah. I'll I'll uh, I'll be very optimistic. I'll say one 0 Ireland. I think we'll uh, <laughs> we'll nick it out there. Be a fantastic result and uh, hopefully kickstart Kenny's reign. But uh, yeah, lads, thanks for joining me. Uh, that was our preview and predictions ahead of the game against Wales on Sunday. Make sure to leave your predictions down in the comments below. Drop a like on the video as well if you did enjoy, and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in a bit. Yeah.